Best way to summarize this film, it's dumb and dumber, just not as funny. Well, pardon me, Mr. Perfect! Hey guys, my name is Joseph Curtis, and if you love movies just as much as me, you have come to the right place. Now do me a huge solid and click that like and subscribe button. Also, if you want to follow me on the following social platforms, that would be great as well. Now, let's start talking driveway dolls. Jamie regrets her breakup with her girlfriend while Marion needs to relax. In search of a fresh start, they embark on an unexpected road trip to Tallahassee. Driveway Dolls is the latest from Ethan Cohen, and boy oh boy, Joel Cohen is sorely missed in this project. With a huge cast, but the talent just doesn't get enough to work with. Also, it's an undercooked film that runs at 84 minutes with odd creative choices. Margaret Qualey, and please forgive me if I get this name wrong, Geraldine Veneswab Thab, Veneswab Thab, Thab, probably Thab. Yeah, I'm sorry. You are great in this film. A uh, little side note, Margaret Qualey, she's a great actress. I love most of the projects that she's in. This one had a bit of an issue. Rather than actually feeling like a human character in a movie, she feels like she's playing a character of a character. She has a really annoying fake country accent that I found nail-piercing through this 84-minute runtime. It just felt fake. But anyways, back to the things that worked, because I'm still on performances, you have Jonah Hill's sister, who honestly saves this movie with one sequence where she basically beats the crap out of one of the goons. It's it's a hilarious scene that was probably my favorite moment in the entire movie. Also, Pedro Pascal's in this. You know, you got Mambo, who's in it for like maybe a minute, minute and a half. Besides that, this movie is kind of a mess. It's not a horrible film. It just has a lot of elements. It has a lot of potential. That's the best way to put it. To be a really funny short film. And for the most part, it does get to the point. What the issue is, it's the characters and the dialogue, it's just not that funny. And this is supposed to be a comedy. And I think in the back of my mind, I probably laughed at about 10 out of 50, I laughed at. That's not a good job. By the way, this might be a little spoiler. Part of the weird psychedelic, weird 30 second montage sequence, there's about three to four. Miley Cyrus shows up in this film, kind of random. They try to justify it with one line from one of the villain's henchmen and it just comes across as lazy writing. Overall, Driveway Dolls, it's just not for me. And I think there will be an audience for this movie, and I may be in the minority. I may be like one crazy guy that just thinks this movie was... Spoiler alert, uh, yeah, I give this movie a 5 out of 10. There's my score. It felt directionless. If I'm not laughing during a moment that's supposed to make me laugh, I think I have the right to have that opinion. It just wasn't funny to me. Just sadly, the writing wasn't there for me to connect with them. Don't forget to click the like button and also don't forget to subscribe, but most importantly, don't forget to be blessed.